Welcome to more great adventures with members of the Florida Powerboat Club founded in 1993 right here in North Miami. This is Stu Jones, uh, the club president, and we are pleased to present now a total of eight episodes featuring the 26th annual Key West Offshore Poker Run, our signature poker run, which takes place every November. Special thanks to our presenting sponsor, once again, Mercury Racing, who is not only the presenting sponsor for the Key West Run, but also Florida Powerboat Club's partner in the all-new Project 1080 Cigarette also, a special thanks to Off Lease Only, our grand prize sponsor. This year's grand prize is a brand new 2018 Chevy Silverado pickup truck. So let's get right to all the action. It all starts right here in the cockpit of this R44 helicopter. We've got our photo and video crew riding today with Florida Coast to Coast helicopters. And if you don't recognize any of this terrain, that's because it's Pompano Beach, Florida. And yes, indeed, we fly out of Pompano and we rendezvous here at Hallover for the beginning of the Wednesday departure. Altogether, about 50 boats going to be running today. Over 200 boats registered for the run, and Hallover Marine Center is the go-to place for staging. They have rolled out the red carpet to the Florida Powerboat Club since they opened, and since then we have run several events here from Hallover Marine Center. And the very best place to be right now if you're into this offshore powerboating Awesomeness is right here on the docks with everybody getting ready for the run. And that support crew in the background you just heard was Andrew Rocco and his crew from New Hampshire and a couple of lovely FPC girls, Kayla and Marissa. So we are just getting that little fun 10 or 15 minute ride as we head towards the inlet. This is a part of the day when you get a chance to get alongside the boats up close and you can just kind of feel the energy in the moment. Everyone's getting revved up to head offshore for the first leg of the run. Uh, you can see how great the weather is. Obviously, you're not going to get a better day than this in the middle of November. And I think this is why everyone really has taken to, you know, fall in love with this event because the November weather is, is cool and it's dry. There's not a lot of humidity and we really don't get much rain. And you can pretty much be certain that you're going to get this kind of weather every day for the next four or five days. And we got very, very lucky. A nice mix of power boats, as you can see, catamarans, uh, performance V bottoms, center consoles, of course, taken over. Uh, and we're riding actually today on a Midnight Express, a 39 foot center console that Andrew Rocco has brought along. It was uh, provided by Fast Boats out of Pompano Beach. That's us down there in the middle. As you can see, a small group of boats are starting to congregate just on the inside of Hallover Inlet. And we're holding everybody back because we're waiting for the helicopter to do a big circle and we want to get some nice shots as everyone departs and heads out into the ocean waters. Now I know that the first thing that most of you are going to notice right now is that it's really bumpy in the Hallover Inlet and quite often it is uh, especially when there's an outgoing tide but right now this is about the extent of it. This is uh, the, going to be the roughest part of the trip this first leg which is just from Hallover Inlet down to Miami's government cut only about eight miles offshore because we've got to get back down into those protected waters. So everyone's going to tough it out. As you can see, it's about a, man, a three to four, maybe occasional five footer in here, but it's just time to slow down, manage the throttles, make sure that your crew is hanging on and enjoy a little bit of exhilaration for the first 10 or 15 minutes of this run, which is going to be 175 miles total all the way to Key West.
And so let's take time now to introduce our pace boat driver, Andrew Rocco Rocco. Yes, he goes by the two names, Rocco and Rocco. But what a great guy um, has been in the club for a number of years now. This is a 2012 39-foot Midnight Express with quad 300 Mercury Verados. He got the boat from Randy Swears at Fast Boats because Randy's building him a statement right now. It's not quite done, but it's a 35 statement that is going to be powered with a triple set of the new Mercury Racing 300Rs. What Rocco loves about power boating is that it's like hanging out with one big family. There's one other big boat in his world, and that's a 52 skater, but its 1350s are currently under the refresh program, so it's in a shop for the time being. Now let's say hi to David and Marianne Kramer, came back all the way from New Jersey with their 38-foot Fountain Lightning, powered by Mercury Racing 525 ESIs that are pumped up to 625 horsepower each. I really liked uh, their video bio. Uh, David had some great comments. He said one of the things he really liked about the poker run this year was how we played out the poker hands uh, on Saturday night. So he thought that was cool. So we'll be sure to highlight that later in the show. Uh, this was the second Key West, and they trailered the boat all the way from New Jersey. He said he brought it down himself all the way and all the way back at home. But he does want to give credit to his good friend Scott for all the help logistically and for being a co-pilot for the long haul. So, hey, always good to thank your friends. He did make sure to thank his wife also for all her support. And he says that next year she gets to pick the November vacation, and it probably won't be the poker run. So we'll see you back here in 2020. Now we're catching up with Fred and Judy Rivas in this beautiful 48-foot MTI powered by Mercury Racing 1350s all the way from South Carolina, but not really because they now have a home in Lighthouse Point, Florida, uh, just about a couple of miles from the FPC headquarters. They are going to be some avid members because not only do they have this 48 MTI, they also have a new SV42 center console from MTI painted with similar graphics. So they've got, uh, you know, a boat for every occasion. And of course, there are going to be a lot of skaters on this run, as there always are. Todd Fountain from Michigan in this uh, beautiful Mercury Racing powered Tomcat, a 46 foot skater. You can see it's got a flat deck, but I do believe that this is one of many skaters that once raced on the offshore circuit and were later converted to pleasure. Todd, you can uh, clear me up on that next time I see you, but I do want to say that these graphics have stood the test of time. This is a graphic effects paint job that came out, I think, probably 15 years ago or so, and look at it, it just looks as good now as it did the day it was painted. Well, I said earlier it was just a short ride offshore as we head back in now through the government cut as we catch up to this 40-foot MTI. Uh, one of about 24 registered MTIs on the run. I uh, don't see a decal on the boat, and I believe it's a newcomer, so I'm having a hard time identifying who this is. But certainly has that rooster tail uh, flying up on the back of the boat as he powers and throttles it through the inlet. We're going to be running calm waters now for the duration of the trip. Uh, as we head through Miami now into the protected waters of Biscayne Bay and we're going to be stopping soon at Grove Harbor for another poker card. And now it's uh, time to catch up with Jim and Lynn Archambault from Georgia in their SV43 Outer Limits. Uh, it's powered by Ilmore 725s. We saw this boat for the first time earlier this year back at the Emerald Coast Poker Run. Uh, that was in August. It was their debut of this new boat. They've been through a lot of different boats over the years. I remember a Nordic uh, and then a Sensation center console, but this is the first Outer Limits, and they sure did pick a beauty. Now let's welcome Matt and Mary Sue Migliazzo all the way from Kansas, and uh, a long ways to go with laundered money, this 38-foot Donzi, and she's old school all the way with a pair of Mercury 500 EFIs and you know Matt was telling me after the poker run he just loves the boat it's got a great cabin good sized cabin it's one of very few that are left on the waterways today but at the time when this boat came out in the late 90s this was a very popular model now let's welcome one of the many teams who came all the way from Canada to attend uh, Chris and Jennifer Grant uh, came from Ontario with team pain relief She's a 42-foot Fountain Lightning with Mercury Racing 600 SCIs and uh, one of the nicest fountains uh, that I've seen on this run year after year. The silver metallic paint and the 
yellow highlights really make this boat look fantastic and and he's really got this thing plowing through government cut right now you can see that these wave patterns are very tricky you have to be ready for them and you be trimmed and tab right and you're going to make a lot of white water as you plow through and he's doing a great job getting through government cut Well, you can see that everyone's having a lot of fun as we negotiate these choppy seas offshore and then turn and make our way into government cut. And I think a lot of people kind of were a little worried at the beginning thinking, oh, it's gonna be like this for a long, long ways. But really, it was just a short ride as we turned and headed through the government cut. Joining us here now again is Andrew Rocco and I'm on board with him along with our FPC girls. And he just, just to point out, this is a 2012 39 Midnight Express, so it was manufactured by the Glazer brothers, Harris and Eric. Uh, they've taken the company over back in about uh, 08 or 09, if I recall. But it looks so much different, and it feels different than the newer models that have come out, like the new 39s, new 37s, and certainly the new 43. And I, I happened to think about that while I was riding on board because I spent some time at the factory recently and looking at some of the new boats that they're building and comparing to what they built about seven or eight years ago, it's almost like a night and day difference. And they were great boats then, but if you take a look at what they're building now and the amount of engineering that's going into it, and not only that, but the development of the different models like this 60, which debuted at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. I love walking around in this factory and seeing the development of all these new models and the amount of work that goes into the interiors and some of the engineering that goes into the new models as well. But the Glazer brothers and their entire crew here at Midnight Express have really brought it up a notch or several notches uh, in more recent years and seeing the continued development of the Midnight Express brand. And I'm just happy that they're such great supporters of the Florida Powerboat Club and they're gonna be continuing that tradition well into 2019. In fact, we were just announced uh, recently that Florida Powerboat Club will be working with them on their Midnight Express Owners Rendezvous, which will be a Bimini run in April of 2019. So if you own a Midnight Express or if you're about to own a Midnight Express, that's something to look forward to in April of 2019 and the brothers are going to step things up and really give their owners a, a special treat. April of 2019 it's the weekend just before Easter and we're headed to Resorts World Bimini. Going to be a lot of fun so stay tuned. Special thanks to Midnight Express for their continued support as a 2018 series sponsor with Florida Powerboat Club. So let's get back to the Key West Poker Run with our Wednesday departure group as they head through the protected waters of the Port Miami heading towards Biscayne Bay. Now let's take a closer look at Tom and Stacy Derner who came 1,800 miles from Minnesota with their 39-foot outer limits. Uh, we'll see more of this team just a little later in the show. We just made it through the Rickenbacker Causeway. What a great run offshore. Now we're going to rendezvous with our safety boat. That's Joe and his Everglades, and those are Miami-Dade Fire Rescue guys. And they're out here to make sure that we're safe today. Hopefully they won't have to do anything today. Just go for a boat ride. Safe we're today. Safe. All right, Always safe, right? So we're gonna join them. We're gonna go and get our first card at Grove Harbor right now, but just wanted to show that we've got the FWC volunteers and, and uh, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue out on the waterways today. When we get further south, you're gonna check out the big fire boat. He's gonna have his hoses squirting water 100 feet in the air. His hoses. <laughs> Oh, got to love Andrew Rocco for a little comic relief. Uh, good to hang out with you, buddy. Enjoyed riding with you. Let's talk a little bit more about this safety management effort because it really is uh, pretty big, and, uh, and it's something that was a long time coming. Our sport really needed it. We are celebrating five years with 
Florida Powerboat Club's safety management program. And for those of you who are new to the sport or just watching this for the first time, it's $50 as a safety management fee for a center console or what we call a sport boat. It's $100 for a high performance boat like this Outer Limits that the Derners are in. And it's $150 if you want to run triple digit speeds uh, in a big catamaran or run 130, 140 miles per hour because clearly speed is our enemy on these group events. Uh, but so far, so good. We've had a great year. 2018 has been a very, very successful year in terms of safety management. Uh, no major injuries or any reported incidents on, on any poker runs really around the country this year. Uh, and that it certainly goes for the Florida Powerboat Club. We've had a great year. And let's catch up one more time with Matt and Mary Sue Migliazzo from Kansas in Team Laundered Money. Uh, you know, you want to be careful with a name like that around Miami. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, it's a 2000 model year, Donzi ZX model. Uh, very rare now on the waters. Back in the day, it was a pretty popular boat, but it's almost 20 years old now. Uh, but looking good, and uh, you know, like Matt sort of said to me, not his exact words, but it's cheaper to keep her. He really loves the boat. He loves the big cabin, the step tall. It performs well. Mercury 500 EFIs. That's right, guys. 470 horsepower aside, those bulletproof Mercs that have lasted him every step of the way for 18 years. And as I mentioned just a few minutes earlier, there she is, that beautiful Fireboat One, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue's uh, pride and joy, this amazing fireboat with these hoses flying high above over 100 feet as they shoot water into the air. And somebody saw this as a great photo opportunity, and I'm not sure who it is. It looks like it might be Fred or, no, it's the, it's the Germans in the Nortec uh, Supercat uh, putting on a show, as you can see there, the rainbow reflection off on the left side. This is the kind of stuff that looks fantastic. It's all a part of the run and it's all a part of our safety management program. And now for a big part of our poker run program is to stop off here at Grove Harbor Marina, one of our Key West poker run sponsors and another staging location for dozens of power boats who make this Grove Harbor, they make it their home. Uh, they like to put the boats in the water here and store them overnight. We've got hotels across the street at the Ritz Carlton. And of course, Grove Harbor Marina being a big part of the Florida Powerboat Club for over a decade uh, here on the Coconut Grove waterfront. A historic building. This hangar uh, was a reconstructed, an original Pan Am aircraft hangar. This is where the old Pan Am uh, seaplanes used to fly up and uh, literally pull right into the hangar uh, back in the day. I guess it was probably the 30s and the 40s if I recall. But a lot of history here on this Coconut Grove waterfront. And you can see the boats rafted up and you can see some of the old reliables, some of the faithfuls like Team Spec Ops here and Patty Sullivan and of course Derek and his crew in the Black Diamond MTI and all of the boats that come along with that family. They have made Grove Harbor their home here for a number of years and they absolutely love it. So for this Wednesday departure, there are about another 20 or 25 boats that were waiting for us here at Grove Harbor Marina, bringing our fleet today now to just up over 50 boats as we get ready for the run. And of course, we're going to do a bonus poker card here uh, from the dock. So this is uh, a time for everybody to get into formation and circle up to the dock. Uh, flying the drone here around the marina as everyone gets ready. It's an exciting time of the day, just as they did earlier at Hallover Marine Center here at Grove Harbor, everybody's, uh, there's a real buzz going around the docks. So hurry and grab your fresh Einstein's bagel, slap on that smoked salmon, cream cheese, that's my favorite flavor. Make sure you're fueled up because we got 165 miles to go. You know, if you have a big thirsty machine like Johnny O's 48 MTI with Mercury Racing 1550s, it's probably good to be topped up with fuel because I know he's gonna be burning a lot of it as he powers it up and heads through the Florida Keys down to Key West. So we're just in these final few minutes here as everyone gets the boats loaded up and uh, gonna start heading out. Once again, I wanna thank Grove Harbor Marina for their continued support of this event. They did everything they could to pretty much give us the keys to the facility so that we could move in here and pretty much take the place over for two or three days as we prepare for the Key West Poker Run. So thanks to all the guys down there. And just look at how nice this day is continuing to be. Remember now, it's going to be protected waters all the way 
from Grove Harbor down through the Upper Keys. And that's what makes Grove Harbor such a great location. You pretty much idle out of their basin and you're in the calm, protected waters of Biscayne Bay and you can go in any direction. And for most of you, that's a hard right turn to head down to the Florida Keys. Of course it is a poker run and in the true tradition of doing a poker run it's time to hand out a poker card. We're only going to be doing two poker cards for the entire day and these are what we call bonus cards uh, because obviously with a long trip down to Key West it's difficult to continue handing out poker cards especially when you have 50 or 60 teams uh, much less 150 teams which we're going to have on Thursday. So it has become a tradition for us here at Florida Powerboat Club to give everyone that poker run experience and I think really as a video producer and you know we've come to appreciate this segment um, because this is when we can really get up close and see the teams and and hear them talking and see the excitement of all the poker run teams who have come a long ways to be here uh, like Bo and Tiffany Renfro from Georgia and of course there's a lot of teams from the southern states who have maybe driven uh, 400 500 miles to be here but think about all the teams that have come from Canada you know from Western United States uh, from the Midwest people who have driven 12 1500 1800 miles to be here and this of course is their very first experience now as they pull up to the dock to get their poker card and there's Kayla and Marissa in their FPC bikinis uh, you know <laughs> handing the cards out and this is an exciting part of the day it's a great way to get revved up and get close and personal with our poker run teams and above all to really get a good look at all of the boats and the, the variety that we've got like Johnny O's 48 MTI as we pull wide here uh, there's our official pace boat the Midnight Express uh, a fountain a total of 18 of these fountains uh, David Kramer all the way from New Jersey and his 38 foot lightning and you know, this is really the part of the show that gives everyone a chance to see just the variety of boats and people. Look at the states. Look at the locations that they're all from. All the way, this one from New Jersey. You know, of course, David trailered his boat all the way here and back. So we've got a camera on a tripod on the dock. We've got a drone flying around. Let's let the cameras uh, tell the story and give you guys a show as we join our Florida Powerboat Club members on the Wednesday departure of the 26th annual Key West Poker Run.
And a special shout out to Team Germany in this beautiful 36 Nortec Supercat. Of course, Nortec back, one of our sponsors once again. I had a chance to visit the factory recently. Here's what I saw, and I'm sure many of you would be surprised to see just how busy they are manufacturing new models all the way up to now 56 feet in length. And I was amazed to hear that they're up to almost hole number 225 on their popular 39 foot center console. And it reminds me back of the day when they started building the 36 Supercat back in, I think, 02. And it became their most popular model. They built about 85 or 86 of them. And I couldn't find a single catamaran being laid up here at the factory. It's all V-bottoms. It's all center consoles for the most part. A few boats that were a little bit different because they, at the end of the day, remember, they are a custom builder. Uh, but they don't want you to know about those custom boats. They want you to know about their popular 34, 39 foot models. And of course the boats that they're really become known for. And I got into the paint shop and saw this beautiful rig being done too. They founded their company also in the early nineties, uh, the same as the Florida Powerboat Club. And I want to thank them for their continued support of our poker runs. And uh, they've come back again as a 2019 series sponsor. So thanks to Tron and Niels uh, and their ownership group and all of the staff at Nortec. Uh, what a great product, and uh, we're just happy to see you guys back here at the Key West Poker Run. Back down here at the docks at Grove Harbor Marina on this Wednesday departure group. A closer look now at Chris and Jennifer Grant from Ontario in this beautiful 42-foot fountain. And you can see all of the excitement here on the dock. More boats still coming in to get their poker cards. And, you know, Wednesday they just kept coming and coming. And I thought to myself, wow, this whole card exchange is going to take a while. But actually, as long as everyone just keeps coming, it happens pretty quickly. And let's give a quick shout out to Lynn Archambault and her first mate captain. That's right, Jim at the helm. Uh, in their new SV43 Auto Limits, a big change from them coming out of a Sensation Center console. And I must say that here is a couple that really enjoys the motorsports lifestyle. Uh, they fly their own aircraft around from event to event. Uh, they certainly enjoy their performance boating lifestyle as well. And their team name, Keeping It Real, certainly a suitable name for this couple. And just a quick wave from the dock staff, our girls of FPC, Marissa on the left, Kayla on the right, as we fly over this uh, Coconut Grove waterfront one more time before we join the Poker Run fleet and head south towards Key Largo. That's a lot of boats. Uh, starting point here uh, just out the entrance to Grove Harbor Marina in the middle of Biscayne Bay is our Miami Dade Fire Rescue Fireboat 1 uh, which is really just giving us a staging uh, checkpoint uh, easy for everyone to find this is where we're gonna mill the boats around and rally up for the start and time to have just a little bit more fun before we get up on plane uh, if any of you notice we are on a different Midnight Express now we joined uh, Double Sharney with Ryan Sharnowski from Indiana on his 37 Midnight Express powered by Quad Mercury Racing 400s. And time for Kayla and Marissa to have a little bit of fun with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue and uh, let these guys know just how much they're appreciated. And we're now going to get things kicked off here as uh, David and Leanne Branton show off their new 40 Invincible Cat for Mercury Racing 400 R's Team Malfucka. Leanne tells me that that is a special Middle Eastern dish that she prepares for David. Up front, do you think we can catch those guys? Let's go. 
Yeah, we are at, we are at 100 knots now. That's all we can do. I thought this thing could do 130. Yeah, with doors on. With the what? With doors off, it's uh, we can uh. just 100. I'm trying to fly a bit faster, but I'm already on my power limit, so I can't pull more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on, man. Get up there. Go like this. <laughs> Well, now you have it, guys. That's the typical dialogue up in the helicopter cockpit as they're trying to chase you guys down. And, of course, it's Todd Fountain in this very fast 46-foot skater team Tomcat. That's who they were chasing. I think they burned about 15 gallons just trying to catch up to his rooster tail. Uh, but, anyway, this is why it's fun for all you guys. This is the Biscayne Bay leg. It's calm. It's fast. The weather's perfect. So, if you guys want to have fun, this is the place to do it. And who's that other boat we were chasing? <laughs> Looks like Lauren Peters from Missouri in his 40-foot MTI powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. No wonder the chopper couldn't catch them. But it is a good time now just to uh, wrap things up for this first episode of our complete coverage of the 2018 Key West Offshore Poker Run with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. This is Stu Jones. We got plenty more highlights coming in the next several episodes. So stay tuned here on YouTube and we're going to keep serving it up here about every week a new episode for the next several weeks. I uh, want to thank all of our club members and all of our sponsors for helping us to have a successful 2018. And this, of course, our signature Key West Poker Run as we head off to Key West. And before we sign off, once again, thank you to our presenting sponsor, Mercury Racing, who is also our new partner with the Project 1080 Cigarette 38 Pace Boat. And, of course, thanks to Off Lease Only, for providing our grand prize Chevy Silverado pickup truck. If you want to keep up on all the action with Florida Powerboat Club, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. This is Stu Jones. Remember to be safe, wear your life jackets, and we'll see you on the next one.